thank you for visiting Chicago Cars Direct. This is a 2008 Jeep Patriot Sport 4x4. It's bright silver metallic over a slate gray interior. Um, we make these videos for our clients who might not be able to come in in person. Uh, so we walk around the vehicle with a high definition camera and uh, hopefully make you a little more comfortable with purchasing a vehicle uh, from us, especially if, in your, if you're in another state. But what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, it's in excellent condition. Uh, we just uh, received it as a trade in from one of our clients. Uh, and I'm going to walk around it with you and I'm going to start with the driver's side right here and I'll introduce you to Fong. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, Fong's going to help with the video and um, what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to go to the rear quarter panel here and I'm going to, well I'll kneel down so you can see everything and I'm going to zoom in dip, 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 right to the front and zoom out because I really want you to see the paint. The paint's in excellent condition. Um, went over the whole car uh, with a paint meter. The only, um, the only thing that's been painted on the car is the rear bumper. Uh, as you can see on the Carfax report there was an incredibly minor um, incident <laughs> where the rear bumper was uh, very minor damage to the rear bumper. We actually even have the estimate uh, of what was done. Not the estimate, the actual repair order from the previous customer. We told them we needed that. So uh, we have that and we'd be happy to show you. I think the total repair bill was about 460 something dollars. As you can tell uh, it was professionally repaired. It was right to right down here I think somewhere. I can't tell because it was fully repaired. But very very minor. And if you want to see that repair order we would be happy to show that to you as well. This is the passenger side also. Look, just look how beautiful that is. Looks great. I like this paint. Th I like this, I like this Jeep a lot. I'm a big, big Jeep fan. I've had Jeeps. I've, I really miss my, uh, my Wrangler. But this reminds me of the original Cherokee. Um, and this, but a lot more technology and a lot more of the newer, uh, traits in the Jeeps that make them a lot more efficient and, uh, a lot better with, uh, gas mileage. There's your sunroof. There's Fong again. <laughs> I do that to make him uncomfortable because it's fun. <laughs> and let me kneel down. Oh, it looks great. The only thing that doesn't look so great is our floor. <laughs> That's what happens when you drive cars around the floor. It's not so good for the paint. Perfect. Thank you. Now one thing I was surprised by um, is the responsiveness of the engine and the transmission. It's actually a 2.4 liter inline four engine, four cylinder engine. It's 172 horsepower um, and 165 pounds foot of torque. Um, it's got really good power at all, all areas of the range. Um, one of the reasons is because it's mated to a CVT automatic transmission uh, and a really nice four wheel drive system. So uh, the transmission helps it give it really good power but it also gives it uh, really good gas mileage. This is rated at 27 miles per gallon on the highway which is excellent considering it's a uh, four wheel drive uh, Jeep. <laughs> I was very surprised at how much I liked it because I've never driven one so I wanted to drive it. I like to drive stuff that I've never driven. But really, 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 really clean in here. Just going to go over everything very slowly. Really nice. Okay, so that's the engine. And now I get to show you the rear of the vehicle. Uh, another thing that's surprising, there's lots and lots of room back here. Um, one of the reasons is because the seats fold down flat. As you can see, we folded one of them down. Are you doing the other one? Oh, nice. Look at that. Look how much room there is back here. Uh, and it's really nice back here because it's, um, it's a very hard plastic molded uh, which really keeps the inside um, a lot cleaner, a lot easier to clean off. Especially if you have dogs. I want a dog. I'm trying to convince my wife I, I need a dog. <laughs> what would you get? Um, 
what is it, what is it called? Australian Shepherd. It's my favorite dog. That or standard poodle. We can edit that out. We'll edit that out. <laughs> okay, I'll show you the um, show you the rear seats. It's not much to show. The seats are. Um, this is a very high quality fabric. It's very very durable, obviously. Um, and there's, you know, no stains. I don't see any stains or uh, rips or tears. It just looks really nice. Sheep a doodle is good too. A sheep dog in a in a poodle mix, hypoallergenic. Okay, so this is the driver's seat. And show you the passenger seat. Just very, very clean in here. Okay, that is your CVT automatic transmission, of course. Those are your heated seats. Um, that was a really nice option uh, that this vehicle has on it. Originally, that was um, $250, I think, from the factory. Uh, electronic stability program, it's right here. Uh, there is your air conditioning. Uh, that is part of the Quick Order Package 26E. Uh, if you look below on our website, you can see what that consists of. Um, that may, mostly, I think, is air conditioning, power windows, power locks, cruise control, uh, and some other little bits. Uh, very good sound system with CD and your auxiliary. I think that's the most important thing to me. And so I can plug in my um, iPhone, listen to podcasts. And I'm going to turn the uh, turn the engine on. Okay. Um, but very smooth engine, um, very quiet. I've got all the windows down so you can hear the engine a little bit, but very, very nice. I'm surprised at how refined it is, especially since it's a four cylinder. Very, very refined. It's more refined than some of the old Jeep 6s. Uh, vehicle has 70,699 miles on it. Trying to show you everything I can. Uh, it's not much to show. It's just very, very clean and well cared for on the interior. I'm not sure is that factory. See in the in the mirror there. The double dual mirrors is that factory? I wonder. Fong, do you know? What's that? See that the little mirror? There's a mirror within a mirror. Mm -hmm. It's the Inception mirror. Is that factory? Um. I don't know. It's pretty cool no, though. Huh? It's an add-on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. It probably is because there's a couple other little add-ons. There's a um, the little mirror, or the window protectors here. Yep. Wind guards. Yep. Okay. Just wondering. Oh, I did want to show you these. These are the wheels. Um, these are the 17-inch uh, uh, wheels as part of the wheel tire and wheel group. Uh, and those are really nice looking on this uh, vehicle. And I'll show you all four of them. Um, there's actually quite a bit of tread left on the tires. Uh, the tires are all matching uh, 17 inch tires. They measure between um, 7 and 8 30 seconds. Um, there's Fong. <laughs> uh, 7 and 8 30 seconds. Um, so there's quite a bit of tread left on them. I would say conservatively. Uh, 70 to 75 percent of the tread is remaining on the tires. Um, but please feel free to give us a call anytime. If you have any questions, we can be reached at 630-889-0911. Uh, if you'd like to see the, um, any paperwork or if you'd like to have the vehicle inspected, um, we're more than happy to show you all that and help with the, uh, you getting the vehicle inspected. We just had the vehicle inspected. Um, passed with flying colors, uh, had an oil lube filter change done. We'd be happy to show you that as well. 
Uh, thank you very much and please feel free to call with any other questions. Take care. Bye bye.